with it, gang. So, I know y'all been like looking for me or whatever. But apparently I have had some time off the tube or whatever. So, um, I kind of wanted to get into that with y'all today. Let y'all know like what the freak I've been doing and what the freak to expect moving forward. Um, shit. Where do I fucking start? Um, last year, y'all know we went through the whole little pandemic or whatever, and I just basically, like, gave up on, like, everything. Like, I didn't, like, I just, like, gave up on my business. Like, I gave up on myself. Like, I just, I don't know. I, I closed myself in when we was closed in with the quarantine or whatever. So, I guess you could say that. And that's just really what happened. And, like, it took, like, a couple months like i literally i did a lot like within that pandemic whole thing like i lost myself like myself wise like i lost my job bro i went through it but that ain't stopped me from being the bitch that i am today you know what i'm saying period but yeah so i just kind of wanted to get into all of it like let everybody know what's been going on but basically as you can see the girls is what working and um if you follow me on social media then you see that um i have started something new this year and that is me with my face care product and my routine my skincare routine and now i get to like inform you guys about how i got into all of that and yeah it was really a good business opportunity for me as well especially during the pandemic like and I'm still an MP. That's the good part. So that's good too. But what I had a problem with is like, um, like picking myself up through the whole pandemic. Like, you know, on top of me being like depressed, losing my job, bills were stacking up. I still had to be a mom, and I still just had to continue to like, I don't know, continue to keep going. And I couldn't have did that without the help of my spouse, bro. Like, for real, for real. He was what, like, woke me up because, like, me, I be getting frustrated and, like, crying. That's what I do. I, I get frustrated and I start crying, and that's just me. And, like, he been telling me, like, we've been together for, like, a year or whatever, but he always tell me, like, you ain't going to get nowhere, like, crying. Crying ain't going to help shit or crying ain't going to do nothing for you, you know what I'm saying? I just be going with the flow, like, yeah, but I always cry and crying, you know what I'm saying? But... Crying did not help me. Like, when I say crying did not help me, crying did not help me. Like, it just didn't. Like, yeah, you know, you cry, but you can't constantly keep crying every day about the same shit every day either. So, um, like, one thing about it is I ain't never been no person that couldn't get what I want. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I just kept applying myself. I kept... Even though I lost my job in the pandemic, I still was working. Like, I still was making little gigs or whatever. Like, little jobs where I would just start working there and then I would find something better because I just couldn't do it or, you know, whatever it is. But I ended up picking myself up, bro. And I just say thank you to that. And I thank God for that because, like, it was a point where I, I just didn't know what to do. Like, how the freak I'm about to pay these bills or, like, how I'm about to how just how and i just didn't have a way i didn't have a way i didn't know what to do and i just had to figure it out so with me figuring everything out you know then on top of that like the holidays was coming up and we had to move like that's what was killing me like we had to fucking move so we ended up um we ended up moving yes we ended up fucking moving which was great like Ended up doing everything, but, like, all I wanted to say is, is, like, I had to thank God for that because, bruh, it was, like, a miracle. Like, yeah, you gonna move, but how the fuck you gonna move and you ain't got no job? You know what I'm saying? But it was, like, God, and nah, I ain't gonna say God sent my man to help me, but. Okay, y'all, so, basically, we gotta pick off what we left off at because my phone, I mean, the camera memory is full and. Bang on the switch there when you get off. So, yeah, back to what I was saying. So, it wasn't like God sent my spouse to me because, like, for help or whatever. But I really down, like, like really deep down inside, I feel like God sent that man for me. Now, why I say that is because, like, 
I've always been independent, like, to myself, you know. But last year, like, we ain't never experienced nothing like that, like, pandemic. And, like, I ain't never lost my job or stuff like that. So, it was all new to me. And, like, still into the relationship still, like, it's still some, some stuff is, like, still new to me just because of how independent I was before we got together. So, I only say that because, like, when I couldn't, he was able. And that's just that. Like, I wasn't able to, like, move us by myself. And I wasn't going to be able to do it by myself. So, I thank God that I was able to even have a partner that was even able to help me when I couldn't help myself, you know. And, um, you know, when I was just in that mood to where I just felt like I just couldn't do it no more. You know what I'm saying? I ain't feel like I had a purpose or whatever. He brought me back to light with it. Like, really did. And I got a little closer to, like, spiritual side as well. I had to do that, too, because I just felt stuck. Like, I felt like... Like, I wasn't going to get out that hole that I that I was in. That I, like, I don't even going to say I dug myself into it because it was a worldwide thing. You feel me? It wasn't something that I dug myself into. It's just my job had got furloughed at the time, and... It was just on downhill, baby, and we still had, and it was just like life was still going. Bills was still having to be paid, and that was just that. And that man, he really, like, he made shit happen, you know what I'm saying? I really fucking love that man. I ain't gonna, I'm sorry to keep cussing like that, because I know we about to be cussing out here. But yes, he really did. That's why I say I'm, I'm grateful for, like, him every day. Like, I, I always say that, you know? But yeah, definitely went through all of that. And I'm now I'm in this great space where I just want to express it and like tell the world about it because why the freak not? And anything that I've been putting my mind on or my hands on too, like I just been trying to stay focused on it because like I got a problem with like staying on tasks or like just staying on one thing because I'm always full of something like I'm full of all this life but at the same time I got so many ideas and so many things that I want to try and I'm not able to do it because procrastination or I just lose focus or I just get uninterested really fast like when I had like for an example during the pandemic Rap bought me um this nail, like the nail stuff to do the nails or whatever. I was really into that, like really into it. it. Was good doing the nails and everything, but it was just like no, like that's just it. Just wasn't what I wanted to do, you know. And everybody started doing it. Like everybody here in my town, like they just started doing it or whatever. And like I like. I don't mind doing what everybody else is doing, but me personally, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it a different way. And that was my thing. Like, everybody wanted to be a self-taught nail. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go to school for it. And right now, I got a lot going on, so I couldn't really, like, go to school for it. But I had, like, set a goal to where I wanted to start to sign up for it, and I didn't hit it. So, because I didn't hit that goal, I just got, like just lost interest in it now he ain't mad at me about it or nothing it was just like he knows like that's the good thing too like he very understanding like he know <laughs> he know his girlfriend because baby i will i just will so yeah that's where i was at this year y'all and this is what i mean that's where i was at last year now this is where i am this year in you guys are going to see more of me. I'm going to be better. I got a whole lot of, like, transformation coming for myself, like, very soon. And, like, just as the months, like, come in, you guys are going to see a different change in me. And, like, just period. Because I am going for bigger and better. I'm only doing shit that's going to make me elevate. Like Koi said, right? So, yeah, like, that's just what I want to do. I keep clicking up here because i'm trying to check in with my laptop and stuff don't mind my snacks but you so you my bad y'all but um that was
was really why I had to tell y'all. Like, I had to tell y'all where I was at. But moving forward, we're going to have more videos. I'm going to have more content. I'm going to try to post at least one video a week. And, like, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm about to feel all of this stuff in with my life. Because I got a lot going on. Like, right now, I'm working. I got the lashes, which is my lash line, if you don't know about it. Um, like I said, if you follow me on social media, you know about it. If you don't, thank you for tuning in with me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you need from me. You feel me? But yeah, so right now I'm working. I got blushes. That's my lash line. Um, and I also do my Monet products for the face. I'm a market partner with Monet. And that was something I started this year and it's been wonderful. Like, it has been freaking wonderful. From the girls that I work with and, you know, just people reaching out just about your skin, you know, just about your skin, just telling you how beautiful you are and, you know, and why not? Like, I make money from my freaking Instagram. Like, all I got to do is post a video of me washing my face or me using my products or me promoting my products and i get paid for that you know what i'm saying so it's easy peasy lemon squeezy don't make shit too hard for you you know what i'm saying everybody out here doing a marketing something whether it's um skincare whether it's makeup whether it's you know somebody's doing some type of marketing and shoot you guys free market all the time whether you're at a new restaurant posting a cup that you drinking a new drink that they just unleashed whether you took a picture of that steak you took at lunch like you know what i'm saying like you're just always free marketing so why not market some stuff that you're actually using every day they're making you feel good. You know about these products. And it's just like, why the freak not? And you making money. And it's nothing that you're changing in your routine or anything. You're literally doing it off your phone from media, like from social media. So that's why I chose to do that. And it was easy, quick, fast money. And it's been like everything. That's another source of income. And then, child, now my boyfriend done got me into these little stocks or whatever. I ain't going to even call them little stocks because he don't like the little words. So, we're going to call them big stocks because they making us big bank. And period, if you ain't in no stock, what are you doing? No, I'm just playing. I just started it. <laughs> I just started that this year as well. But like I said, multiple sources of income because that's just the goal. Like, if you want to get somewhere in life, you want to be somebody, you want to go somewhere you need to have multiple streams of income. So, that being said, I'm going to get ready to wrap this video up. I just wanted to let y'all know where I've been at, where my head is, and what y'all going to get from me moving forward. Because I'm ready to unleash the goddamn beast. I'm sorry for cussing again. But yeah, I tune in with y'all later. I love y'all. Thank y'all for just tuning in with me. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to do what? Like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you have a bell on because y'all be just subscribing and don't be having that bell on. So by the time I upload a video, y'all ain't even gonna know until it's like days later. No, I need you to know now. Don't forget to do what? Subscribe to this channel. I love y'all. Peace out.